Hello and welcome. Thank you for spending your valuable time with me today and let's get right into it. In today's video, we are going to address the Hurricane Helene aftermath. Thousands of people are already covering the damage and the response and their experiences. So I'm just going to try to take a different a uh, bit more sinister and skeptical angle here. In my opinion, there's about five things that happened during this event. I'm going to go in no particular order. First one is the cycle event or the mud flood. Uh, there is a content creator, Conspiracy R Us. I will link his channel in the description. And in a lot of his videos, he goes over the old world and the reset events, or specifically the mud floods. And uh, in my opinion, this was a small scale example of what we witnessed in North Carolina, outside of Asheville and the surrounding uh, cities and towns. The second thing, in my opinion, that's happening here is because of this cycle event and uh, it washing out the majority of the town, roads, and general infrastructure, uh, there's now easier access to the minerals in the mountain. They said there's uh, tons of lithium and other ores that they can use in the uh, manufacturing and processing of uh, electric vehicles. The third thing I think is happening here is that uh, the reason there's no response, partially, is because of the red voters. Uh, if the federal government helps these people, or President Biden or Harris does, they're not going to vote for them. You know, it'd be like, thanks for helping us, and now let's get Trump in there. Um, so this is a strategic political move as well. The fourth thing that I think is happening, uh, the lithium and the other deposits in the mountains, uh, people live on those properties. So this is uh, preventing locals from remaining on their property if they need help. As soon as you lose your feet, you lose your seat. So there's a uh, big incentive to uh, not leave, even though you might be in distress and you might be lacking supplies, water, food, hygiene. And then finally, and the most important, I think that this is a cryptid body recovery. When Mount St. Helens exploded in 1980, and caused mass pyroclastic flows. We didn't have the level of infrastructure or even communication that we do right now. So uh, although there might have been mountain towns and cities in the surrounding area that were affected and cut off, I just think it was a much different circumstance and uh, lack of resources to address that situation. Shortly after the Mount St. Helens uh, eruption and uh, subsequent pyroclastic flow, a uh, number of Bigfoot bodies were um, just lying around in the debris. And so they couldn't have civilians up there doing search and rescue because then the secret would be out and they would have physical evidence and then any uh, photographic evidence that they could release to the public. So uh, the shadow government had to go in there first and uh, do a routine sweep and clean up before any civilians were helped, before any civilian bodies were made a priority to be recovered. Utmost secrecy and allowing the general public to continue with their lives through not knowing about these things existing is what the government puts at its highest priority. It will not allow this secret to get out because it could, you'd lose millions of tax dollars. No one would ever probably go to work again. No one would ever probably pay their bills again. No one would ever probably pay taxes again because they would be so scared of what exists out there. And that is always what the government's trying to keep under wraps, keep the public from panicking. Because that is, like Agent K said, the only way that these people get on with their happy little lives. Something I want to address as like an end point and wasn't really the point of this video is uh, during catastrophe, uh, people find a way to come together. Uh, they find a way to make community matter. Uh, however, if you live in a city where there is overcrowding, uh, you get increased aggression and and uh, then you also get um, like pressure cookers or time bombs, and it's just a matter of time until people lash out. And these ending clips are just a little bit of that. Uh, you can see that people who already have their supplies or have their gas are spectating, and that the people who don't have their supplies and don't have their gas are in the heat of the moment, and they're uh, they're frustrated. And uh, things are tense, and it's only going to get worse from there the longer these people go without aid. But again, covering up all of those bodies, and uh, the primary importance is the recovery of the cryptid bodies if there are any, and then addressing the civilian casualties, aid, property, all that other stuff will come after the fact. I sit alone and hear the sparrows sing, no way of knowing what tomorrow brings, I leave my solitude upon the hill. 